Okay, we're good to go with the uh, second press conference, the GTE Pro category winners, LMP2 category winners, and the GTE Am category winners. Uh, we'll kick off with GTE Pro then, the 71F course Ferrari, David Rigon, 2 out of 2, congratulations. Clearly the, seven, the 51 car had a problem, but did you have the pace to match? Yes, we, we did, uh, to be honest, a good job, uh, me and Sam, you know, the team uh, don't mistake anything on the strategy, on the pit stop. Uh, the car was uh, perfect for us, no, no one issue, perfect. Very sorry for them because they drive uh, very well, the 51, James and Jimmy, they, they were strong. Uh, it was close to them, but uh, to overtake them was difficult, so we, we decided to keep the pace uh, and do our best and see what happens. Uh, in the end, I was not so good, to be honest. Uh, we, we, we win, uh, but uh, to, to be first and second was better for the crew, for the Ferrari. Um, nothing. I have to say thank you to the to the to the team because they did a good job. Sam did a fantastic job. Second race together, second win. So really happy and really enjoy. And full momentum going to Le Mans. Do you uh, do you feel like uh, the competitors have shown their full hand, or do you expect it to be even closer in Le Mans? No, no. For sure, we will be very close in Le Mans. Uh, to, we are always on the limit, uh, we, we want to, to push all the time to see our limit and prepare everything well for Le Mans. Uh, I think the other will be, they, are, they have a straight line, they are quick, so it will be a tough race in Le Mans uh, and maybe we will see the real uh, potential of everybody. Sam, uh, you started the race, your first didn't, maybe didn't go quite to plan is how you liked it. I mean, the, the, I'm still learning and improving all the time. Um, at the start, we qualified on pole, but we didn't have the benefit from being on pole because I was on the outside into turn one. Um, I got boxed out a little bit by some LMP2s, which allowed uh, Jimmy through. I felt a little bit quicker than Jimmy for the first ten laps, but then I just made a small mistake at Pouin and ran off wide and, and lost five or six seconds, and that was that was that uh, stint done. But, you know, it's uh, it's le I'm learning all the time and getting better all the time. Davide is really helping me. Um, I was really impressed yesterday because we got we, we, we earned pole position by being quicker than Jimmy and James, um, and we take this momentum forward to uh, to Le Mans. You talk about the car moving around quite a lot um, yesterday. Uh, how was it today in the start of the race and the end of the race? Yeah, I mean, I, I thought the car was really really strong actually in the race stints. Apart from maybe the last three or four laps of each stint, I thought the car was fantastic. Um, no complaints at all. Pit stops, the boys did a great job. Um, it's quite tricky when they were leading and uh, we're, the, the, we're the box after them. It's quite tricky when you have to come in, but uh, that was the only issue today. But a fantastic job by the boys. Uh, a shame for, for uh, Jimmy and James. Thanks very much, guys. Uh, LMP2 winners, the 36 Signatech Alpine. Uh, Gustavo, first season, second race, first victory. Sounds pretty good. Yeah, I mean, the team did a fantastic job this whole weekend, you know. Uh, we were always quite there, even though it didn't seem like it on the paper. And, uh, you know, we worked very hard together, the three drivers and the engineers. I think we've come very close uh, through the last race weekends, even. So uh, we were able to maximize it, and uh, it was a very stressful race condition, you know, bouncing back and forth. But I'd say the boys did a fantastic job as well, and that really uh, allowed the victory today. It was well-deserved. Stefan, the, uh, the, I guess the kind of only issue for you is being assaulted by an Audi mid-race. Um, tell us about that. I mean, I, was, uh, I didn't see him. You know, I was uh, watching the, the guy in front and uh, trying to do uh, the good in the corner to, to have a proper exit. And uh, I just felt something and being a rerun. Uh, I saw it was an Audi, but okay. And then he, he came to apologize. And hopefully it didn't change uh, anything from the, the result. Nico did an awesome job. Um, and, uh, we had uh, one minute of advance, and then uh, with the safety car, was, uh, then we had to fight for this. Nico did the job, and uh, really, merci. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nico, tell us about that last stint, and specifically that move um, in fun. Yeah, it was a very up and down race for us. It started not so good, then everything went really well. And two hours before the end, we had one and a half minute lead, you know, it was all under control. And I was speaking with the crew, I said, the only thing that could screw us was a, would be a safety car, you know. And then here we go, safety car, and then we messed up a bit with the strategy, and then we had to push again, you know. But, uh, but the car was feeling pretty good in the end, better than at the beginning of the race. 
and uh, we were able to, to push and open the gap. Just not enough to exit in front of the ESM car, but then we had the pace on track to overtook him, so no, very happy, you know, it's a, it's a new team for me this year, and we have new teammates, they have no knowledge of endurance, and they are learning very, very quickly, so I can, it looks very good for the future. I want to know about that move, though. It wasn't just around the outside of one car. There were two cars on the inside of you, and you still managed to make it stick. Yeah, I mean, in LMP2 this year, the car are really close, so if you try to overtake on a normal condition, it's a bit difficult, so I had to wait for the traffic to come, and outside of Pool, I tried to stay as close as, close as possible, and I knew if we would go left, I would go right, or on the opposite, you know, and then you go right, I go left, and I had to break a bit later. But it was it was really close. The Ford touched me just a bit, you know, and yeah, so he, he had no room, you know, nowhere to go. But uh, it was nice. It was a nice fight. I have a big respect for for people. He's doing a great shot this year, and I knew it was going to be a, a very tough uh, battle with him. Good stuff. Thank you very much. Uh, to the Aston Martin, then um, the '98 car. Matthias must be uh, a great pleasure to be uh, back on the podium in WBC. Yes, for sure. I mean, uh, it was also a very tough race for us because. In the beginning of the race, uh, we dropped back a little bit, and then in the middle of the race, our pace was quite good. We had a really big lead to the second guy, and quite similar to the guys with the LMP1, uh, LMP2 car. So, yeah, with the safety car, suddenly our lead, that was over the over minute, suddenly went back to zero, and we dropped actually back to second place. And then, like, Pedro did a really good job, and he fight back to, to P1, and then uh, pulled out a really good gap. And also, Paul did a really good job uh, in his stint, and always makes a big difference to the other arm drivers. In general, we had a really perfect weekend with pole position, and uh, yeah, and to win the race, same as last year, it's great. Paul, on um, outright pace, it does look to me and, and to a few others in the media centre that the uh, the Ferrari is the car to have. But you guys seem to work more and more lap after lap to get everything working, so you had the pace by the end of the race. Yeah, we're finding our way with the the new uh, Dunlop tyres. So I got to say a big uh, a big congratulations for that. I think we've figured out how to make them work. A little temperature. Uh, Pays off, and, and you know we're uh, we're comfortable with the battle. We're going to have a, a good fight with uh, 83 for the for the season. We know that, but uh, we like those sort of things, and that's what it's all about. I got to say, racing in Spa is an incredible treat, and with weather like this, and uh, you know battles in all classes, it's a really special event. So ecstatic uh, maximum points for us. So we leave uh, you know highly uh, highly uh, I guess motivated for Le Mans. Pedro, we've got a celebration, a little anniversary for you, because it's your 10th WEC victory um, so far, so congratulations for that. Yeah, great. Uh, yeah. Tell us about the trickiness of that last stint, with uh, everyone bunched up back together again after the safety car. Well, when, the, when I had the, the safety car on track, I said, you know, the race will start again. But um, I felt that I had a fast car, and uh, I mean, everything uh, Paul and Matthias did well in the race that we had an easy gap that I would finish the race quite easily. I had to, to push and start from, from zero, but the car was fast with new tires. Uh, was um, I was fast enough to win, and uh, and uh, I was fighting not with the um, with the fastest drivers in all the cars on, on, on the other team, so it was quite uh, quite easy actually. But uh, I'm very happy the team did a great job. Good stuff. Congratulations to all three teams and thank you very much for joining us.